Traffic controller, we're here. I got to do this for Jennifer. She got it for me for a reason. Hi, guys. How's it going? Thanks for being here. We have, let's see, we have John. Hi, John, Teresa, Alyssa. Happy Thursday. We're almost to the weekend. So happy. Very excited. And I'm happy you guys are here. I just wanted to maybe try to start doing a little quick live stream where I can chat with you guys and you can chat with me. You can ask me questions, whether it's about, um, hey, Cricket Fox, how are you? Thanks for being here. Just a, a quick little catch up on um, character warehouse questions or Disney questions or what's going on in my Disney planning or if you have a question about Disney planning. So we're going to just go over this, maybe go 20, 30 minutes. Um, we'll see how many people come in and, and what questions you guys have for me. And I wanted to start by going over a quick little like character warehouse haul quick overview. Um, Stacy Rogers, PIC, how are you? Thanks for being here. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what I get because I never ever leave empty handed from the character warehouse. It is one of the great and awful things about doing the vlogs. I love it and it's so hard to not leave with all the great deals they have there. Hi, Alyssa. Thank you so much, you guys, for being here tonight and hanging out with me on Thursday night. I know it's a little bit late, but I thought 10 o'clock was a good time where people kind of were wrapping things up, maybe hanging out and wouldn't want to hang out with me during that time. So here we are. Uh, I'm going to just start by going over. I'll show you guys the things I got, I guess, um, really quickly, not like in depth or anything, but this I've already worn and washed and I absolutely love it. It was so, so comfy. This Mickey Mouse sweatshirt. And I know you guys are like, you're crazy. You're in Florida. Why are you wearing sweatshirts? But I'm constantly cold and it's weird. This is by Wonderground Gallery. And I just love the, um, I don't know, like the nostalgia about it. It's so comfy and I love it. So that has already been washed and I love it. Super awesome. I think I got it for 25 originally, 50. So it was like half off. Hi, Tanya J. How are you? And then let's go to just whatever I grab next. These, I meant to grab these the last time I was there and I forgot because I'll go through my vlog, I literally walk into the character warehouse and just start filming all the way around. And then I try to remember the things that I was like, I want that. And then go back really quick in like 10 minutes and grab all the things I want. It's like supermarket sweep for character warehouse. <laughs> I don't know. But these were only $7.99, originally $17.99. And they're ice cream cups, but I just want to use them as regular cups because they're so cute. They're little Mickey and Minnie ones. And then, <laughs> who's the mod now, Stacy? Actually, Stacy, I'm making you a mod because you're the mod of all mods. Hold on. <laughs> I don't, I did something. <laughs> Bear with me. This is the new move right here. <laughs> there you go, Sean. What's up now? <laughs> So I got these for Sean. He doesn't even know it yet because I haven't taken them out of the bag. But they're like little just jersey shorts. And they had a matching windbreaker. And I'm pretty sure these are all still in the parks. I got them for 10 bucks, originally 40 And they're just like comfy little sport shorts. And I'm just throwing it off to the side. <laughs> but I did get a few things for some friends that I can't show you because if they do watch the replay, then they'll know I got them. But uh, they're really awesome. I love the character warehouse. And then I got this for myself. It's a little t-shirt hoodie. And I just love the writing. I don't know. It was really cute. $15, originally $45. So... That's a great deal. I love it. And then I couldn't help myself for getting ready for next Christmas because it's never too early to start. And I found the sweater. I think it's going to be a little bit big on me, but I'd rather be too big than too small. And it was only $15, originally 65 
and it lights up somehow. See special care instructions. I'm reading upside down. But I thought it was really cute and I needed to have that. Let's put it away with all the other Christmas stuff and then Jingle Bell Glow Necklace for $4. I don't know how much it originally was, but it was a good deal nonetheless. They're here. So cute. Hi, Jeff Rendez. Thanks for being here. And then I think we're almost through my quick haul. This is another mug. Shh, don't tell my husband. <laughs> He's here. <laughs> Hi, Jim, for more sunshine, please. Hi, Brandy and Dave. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, this is, this I got for $3, and it has all of the Disney princesses on it, like all of them. I love it. And then on the inside, it says, live your dreams, destined for greatness for $3. And I just couldn't leave it there because... You know, coffee and contemplation on Saturdays. I need all the coffee mugs. I've reused some, and I need to have a different one every Saturday. So, you know. And then I think we're almost to the end of the bag. I got Mickey and Minnie Walt Disney World peppermints for two bucks. I don't know how much they originally were, but I think Altoids cost more than that. So it's a good deal by me. And then... This little Minnie Mouse pin, it's, um, I didn't know how to explain it in the vlog, but it's just a layered pin with her signature, and it was $5.99. And then I got, well, I got, I forgot I got these. <laughs> That's bad, right? I got this little magnet for $0.99. Cents, and I got some postcards. I got two of the same ones just because I, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but Rapunzel is my favorite princess, and these were only $2. I'll probably keep one and maybe eventually send one to someone, but my other background I have that I use all the time is literally this scene, and I love it. Rapunzel is awesome, and last but not least, a Baymax patch. This was originally $10. I got it for 4 and it's like puffy. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's like a textured 3D. So he's going on my jean jacket. And I can't wait to add him to my collection of patches that I should glue or sew on at some point, but haven't. And that's what I got this week. And I go every two weeks. So if you guys are interested in seeing those, I do constant updates on the character warehouse at Sawgrass Mills Mall, which is about two and a half hours south of Orlando. It's kind of off the beaten path from the Vineland and whatever the other one is in Orlando that everyone else goes to and they're super crazy. But this one ends up being more my style. It, it's calmer and the staff has more time to help you find what you're looking for. And if you're ever looking for something that you see in my vlogs, you can always call them and leave a message. And they check the messages about four times a day and call everyone back. If you're looking for a specific size or a specific item that you saw in my vlog, they will get back to you. And they're really, really good about that. Um, let's see. I'll just check chat. Hi, Eddie family. Thanks for being here. Um, so this is just really catching up with you guys really quick, showing you guys what I got. If you guys have any questions about the character warehouse I shop at, um, their hours are the hours of the mall. They're open a little bit later. They're open until 930 most days. I go on, it depends on when I can get there, but they do get shipments on Mondays and Thursdays. And those are typically the best days to go because if you're going for any new items, those are the days you'd want to go, even if you can't get there earlier in the day or in early afternoon. Um, I prefer to go in the evening because it's a ghost town and they still have the items you're looking for. Lots of Dooney and Burks. Um, they haven't had too much jewelry lately, but 
they have more of the wanted items, I feel like, that you can't get because of the madness that goes on at the character warehouses next to Walt Disney World. So we're a little bit further away and I benefit or my bank account doesn't from it, but it's a lot of fun and I love doing it. So you can count on those updates for me every two weeks. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, thus my handle is the Lynn Project, and I post on my story when I'm there that I'm doing an update. So either Tuesdays or Fridays is when I'm going to be posting updates on that probably. And um, Taylor the Theme Park Boy also does um, more constant updates on what's available, and I'll check his Instagram to see before I go, if there's things that I need to look out for, or um, if there's something new that I should go out of my way for, which I have maybe once or twice, but usually I stick to the two week schedule because otherwise that's just trouble. <laughs> I, I don't need to be going out of my way, but right now they have tons of uh, youth spirit jerseys that I wish were adult size because they're amazing. And, um, Lots of great clothing items and some really awesome DVC things. And then they still have Halloween items that are super, super cheap and holiday stuff that's still there along with, I don't know, tons of other other things. If you want to, if you're interested in that, then check out my Character Warehouse vlog. I, I love taking you guys shopping with me. It's, it's a lot of fun. So I don't feel like I'm just being boring and shopping alone. I get to take you guys along with me. Um, if you have any other questions, you can DM me on Instagram and I answer immediately, or you can leave a comment down below in any of my videos. I usually get back to those within 24 hours. So moving on for my plans in the near future is my very first ever run and my very first ever run Disney. So it is my first run and it's a run Disney. I'm doing just a 5k. So that's about three miles. Um, I've had my princess run scheduled for months and months and months now. <laughs> Mela Kalikim. <laughs> I love that song. That's one of my favorite Christmas songs, Jim. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I still have yet to find time to get on a treadmill and run. I do walk a lot. I walk a lot at the parks. I walk a lot in my daily life. But I have not properly prepared myself for this run yet. I have two weeks still to get on a treadmill. And I'm hoping that I follow through and do that because that would be awesome of me to prepare for this. But if I don't, I'm, I think I'll be all right. Maybe not as well prepared as possible, but um, it, it's, it's, I, it's in my planner. So eventually I'll do it. And I have a costume that I'm planning. I got a couple of things from Amazon. I might do a vlog about it. Um, I'm working on it. I picked up a few things from the craft store to add to it to try and finish it up and make it the most comfortable but functional at the same time. So I don't even really know what I'm going into because this is my first 5K. So I will definitely do a vlog on the 5K while I'm I'm doing the run and vlog the whole thing for you guys and my experiences. Hey, Livin and Diz, thank you so much for being here. But um, yeah, I, I might just do a full, I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I, I always say things and then things change. So <laughs> thanks, Teresa. I will definitely need a healthy dose of good luck. But I'm excited about that, and I will be working on that. Also, tonight, I decided – so I have a pile of ears. I get them at such a great deal for going to the work, character warehouse. So I have a lot, a lot of ears, and I don't necessarily really wear them at the parks, but I like collecting them. So I have a pile problem, and – it's become an issue. They're all over our dresser and I need to do something about that. <laughs> thanks. Thanks so much, Corey. I appreciate that. And I have a DIY project I'm going to attempt tonight. I'm going to try to film it 
I say try because I'm going to film it, but I don't know how it's going to turn out because I've never done this before. I don't do DIYs. I usually just buy things, but ear scans were like $80 on Etsy. And I think that's probably about how much I spent on 25 pairs a year. So I don't want to spend that on a holder to display them. And um, don't do a Michael Scott, don't eat fettuccine Alfredo before the race. I don't exactly know. Hi, Disney her nerd herders. I don't know exactly what that's in reference to, but I think that just sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I, I won't. I promise you. I'm making this promise right now. I will not eat fettuccine Alfredo before the race. But um, so I'm going to try to make this DIY and do a video about it. Hopefully it works out. I think I have enough information. I just realized I forgot a box cutter. You probably have. I'll figure it out. Anyways, maybe look forward to seeing that video. I can never make promises because I don't know what exactly things are going to turn out to be. <laughs> um, all right. Well, Sean got your reference. The Office. I missed that episode, but at least... At least Javi got it. So, um, yeah, so that that is what's in the near future. That's two weeks, two weeks from today we'll be there, which is crazy because I haven't booked a hotel and this is the first time ever I've, I'm that last minute. But Disney was all sold out a month ago and I procrastinated thinking I like know my, I know what I'm doing. And I'm like, oh no, they'll have something. They didn't and they don't. So, I, I'm figuring it out. I might stay off property or at a Disney affiliated resort. I'm looking into it, but either way I'll be there and I'll sleep somewhere and we'll have fun. So <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. It just might not be an actual Disney world resort. So I don't know. It'll be okay. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I, I've watched The Office, but not enough episodes to know all the references. It's, it's pretty funny. And let's see, what else do I want to talk about? Festival of the Arts. I don't know if anyone else has been there, but I, Sean and I went a couple weeks ago for my birthday. I'm going to try and get that vlog out in the next two weeks of our experience there. It was my second time visiting. We went last year, didn't try a whole lot of things last year and didn't try a ton of things this year. I think we tried about five dishes combined. And honestly, I'm going to say I'm not the most impressed with the food offerings for this. I'm 1000% Flower and Garden Festival is my favorite, it has the best food, best the the best drinks and the best just ambiance, the, the life, the flower, the flowers everywhere, the topiaries, there's so much to see and everything smells so good that you, I don't feel like you can compare it to any other festival, but um, I love, the highlight for me, Festival of the Arts was the performers and the art and the artists being there with their art. That's what I really enjoyed the most from Festival of the Arts, but I just realized that we're actually going to get a second go at it because we'll be there for the very end of the festival for the run Disney. So Sean and I'll have to check it out and try some more food and some more drinks and see if uh, Festival of the Arts can maybe bump up in my ranking. Right now, I'm Flower and Garden, Festival of the Holidays. I don't know. And then Food and Wine, Festival of the Arts are kind of tied for third and fourth. I don't really feel super strongly about one or the other. I don't know. That's just my personal feelings. That's just my experience, which everyone's experiences are, can be so different based on their food quality that they get. I don't know. That's a whole nother topic. But let me catch up on chat, see what you guys are talking about. Oh, I'm blabbering over here. Uh, I didn't get it. I never watched Office. Yeah, I've watched a few episodes. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate the offer, Corey. We're uh, we're going to stay super close because I have to get up at like four o'clock in the morning to be there for my run. So I got to be really close so I can get there and not miss it. 
very pretty things. Um, Disney Nerd Herders at Festival of the Arts. It's really cool to see the performers. I love the living statues and the chalk art. Um, they have a 3D chalk art. I posted on my Instagram a picture from that that Sean took, and it, it was so, so cool. And that is an awesome experience because when he took the picture, I honestly didn't even know what he was taking a picture of. He's like, go do this. Act like you're falling. And and then afterwards, I came around and looked. And I was like, oh, I get it now. I see what you're doing there. And then the pictures turned out super cool. But it's it's really neat just seeing the artists down there on the ground with the chalk and, and what they create. Like, I remember my chalk art when I was a kid. And it would not make it to Epcot ever. <laughs> Nothing would. Hey, Baxter, welcome to the stream. Hey, Dance Electric, how are you doing? Cool festivals going on in May. Yes, Flower and Garden, my absolute favorite festival. I have, I think, three vlogs on it on my channel. Absolute favorite. So much fun. Awesome food. Beautiful things everywhere you look. And I, I just love it. There's a lot of really, really cool. I like nature and those things. So it just all kinds of, kind of ties in together. Um, food and wine is too busy for me. Every time we've been, it's just been super long lines for all the food and drinks. And I really, I don't wait that long in a queue for a ride because of how often we go. I'm not going to wait 40 minutes for a piece of food this big or a drink this big. It's, I just can't do it. Hi, Magic of the Mouse TV. How are you doing today? Check out Holiday Inn Express on Palm Park Way. It's a new hotel. I stayed there last week. I will. Actually, let me write that down. Holiday Inn Express Palm. I don't know why people talk while they're writing. I guess I'm just filling the void. Palm Parkway. <laughs> there we go. I wrote it down. Um, the one thing I do want to experience at Festival uh, of the Arts is the live Broadway performers, which I've never stayed long enough or waited in the line to see the performance and sit down. So maybe I'm thinking about doing the package where if you eat dinner or lunch at one of the restaurants in Epcot, then you get the higher tier of performance What's the word I'm looking for? You guys know what I'm saying. Preferred seating. Yes, there we go. Answered it. Got it myself. Yay, Lynn. <laughs> um, I do want to try the peanut butter cake at Sunshine Seasons. I always forget about that because it's not out in the food booth. So I kind of miss it. That's the one by um, Living with the Land, right? Let me catch up this festival several times. Performances are off the hook. Um, oh, Sean's leaving. Bye. See you in a minute. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Dance Electric. Yes, I have stayed at two of the value resorts and I enjoyed them. But I'm really, I love the moderates. For me, it's like a, a really great taste of both, which we're actually going to be talking about that on Saturday with my live stream with my partner channel, Practically Perfect Park Hopping. If you guys aren't subscribed to them, they're my partner channel. We work together. We're, we're great friends. They put out awesome park vlogs. And they just had a trip to Walt Disney World and are, are pumping out the content now. And um what was I saying? <laughs> yes, I prefer the moderates because it's a good mix between a little piece of deluxe and then a little bit of value. And they kind of mesh it all together and make it really awesome. So we're going to be talking about the difference in tiers. And we we both just stayed, me and Practically Perfect Park Copping, we both just had a visit at Animal Kingdom Lodge, which I'm working on a full room and resort tour for there as well, which I'm super excited about. And um, we'll talk about that on Saturday at 11 a.m. 
We have our partner channel live stream on their channel this week. We go back and forth each Saturday, 11 a.m., Coffee and Contemplation with the Lynn Project and Practically Perfect Part Copying. So if you're interested in that, we, we will have that live stream for you. We'll be talking. We're going to start out the live stream concentrating on those things, just sharing our information and our experience and, and all of that, because that's what I love doing. That's one of my favorite things about my YouTube channel is, is sharing that information with you guys and helping you make your best decision on your best experience at Disney. So if you ever have any questions, please please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can DM me on Instagram or comment on one of my videos on YouTube and I will definitely get back to you. So, um, school bread. I have heard lots and lots of things about the school bread Addy family, but I have not yet tried it. I don't even really know what the flavor is. All-Star Sports in June. Awesome. That is on my list. I have not stayed at All-Star Sports yet. Stayed at All-Star Movies and loved it. I would definitely stay there again. Hi, Movie Mania Nick. Welcome to the stream. Um, also, Stacy, yes, I do love coffee and I don't like getting up early. And Saturday is my day off, but I do it because I love my YouTube family and it forces me to be a little bit more of a productive person on Saturdays is what I like to tell myself. <laughs> I, I don't know if it actually works, but I get up and I do something and I feel like I accomplish something by noon. So that makes me happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of the... Uh, snacks at Disney can be mixed reviews. Some people love it, some people don't. So, you know, in my vlogs and stuff, I, I give my opinion or what I thought, what they thought. We often have opposing views on it. It's really what you like. And then if that sounds like something you would like, then try it. If it's not, then there's something else for you. Disney has zero shortage on snacks. So we all know that there's, there's something for everybody. Yes. Living in Diz. We, uh, we try to try, we try to try different snacks every time we're there. It's just so hard because there's only so much valuable real estate in your stomach for the snacks. And it's like, I love Mickey pretzels and I love popcorn and I want to eat that every time. But then it's like, if I eat that, then I can't eat something else. So this is, it's a hard battle. First world problems, right? <laughs> Hi, Shelly. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Um, yeah, school bread. We got to try it. I, I need to know what it's all about because you're not the first or fifth or eighth person has told me, multiple people have told me the school bread is amazing. So we got to try it next time we're going through. We kind of just usually cruise right through Norway. And um, we need to, we need to just like pump the brakes a little bit next time and, and check it out. I think, I think we can do that. It's hard to when there's all the festivals going on and you want to try all the festival food because you know, it's only going to be there for a certain amount of time. So it's hard to just if it's ah, Disney problems, right? It's hard. Good night, Jeff. Thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate you being here. Hi, Sherry. Welcome to the stream. Thank you. Um, it's hard to decide. Do I try the festival food that's only here for X amount of time? Or do I try something that's a staple that so many people have told me I need to try? Like, the Bavarian pretzel in Germany. So many people have told me that it's so good. I've only had Mickey pretzels and the Simba pretzel from Animal Kingdom. And I haven't tried the Bavarian one, which everyone says is like 10 steps up. I love pretzels and I love Disney. I need to try it. And I think they have a different kind of cheese. What am I waiting for? It's They're on the list. I have my pen, I have my paper. They're there. I just need to find time and stomach space to fit it all in and people to eat it with me. <laughs> I can't eat the whole thing myself. <laughs> um, we'd like to do deep dives into the country. Yes, I, I like the idea of that a lot where you just take one country and kind of go through every single little part of it. I would love to do that. Um, 
we go a lot, but not quite enough to spend that kind of time. So maybe that's a good idea for a vlog series is every time we go, um, take one country and just spend a couple hours going through the whole thing. That would be a lot of fun. I think I'd really enjoy that and, and see so many new things. And that's the crazy thing too about as often as we go, I still find something new, eat something new, do something new every single time we go. Not to say that there aren't How about now? Can you hear me now? I think I think we have it. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. There she goes. <laughs> Thanks so much, you guys. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. There we go. We're back. All right. Uh, train of thought. <sighs> train of thought. Hmm. What was I talking about? <sighs> I know I was talking about food. Cause that would that makes sense. I talk about food a lot. <laughs> deep dives, deep dives into the countries. Yes, that's something I want to do, and I would like to do that going forward because there's um, endless things that you can see in there, and it's just hard to devote the time. You kind of like, all right, well, I'm in this country, but I have so many more countries to go, and so many more things to see, and what other right, what are fast passes, what rides are we gonna do? Where do we need to go next? Do we have a dinner reservation? Um, Jeff, let me check. Um, I'm not sure. Just drop it again, Jeff. Uh, I don't see it. Um, yeah, I think that's awesome. Living in does to have an ongoing series and, and start different um, just sets of things to show people that want to see those certain things. So that's definitely something I'd, I'd love to do in the future. But um, next trip, don't know where we're staying, doing Run Disney. I haven't made, I made some fast passes, but I haven't made any dining reservations. I think I'm going to try to do one of the tours. I would like to do, um, they have a new Magic Kingdom one I, I just found out about. And, um, hey, Jeff Dole Whip Dad, thanks for being here. And um, they have a new tour that's a food tour at, oh, I don't know if it's new, but it's new to me. So as far as I'm concerned, it's new. And it's a food tour around Magic Kingdom, and they take you into the kitchens or behind the scenes, and you get to try new things, talk, talk with the chefs, and it's all these Magic Kingdom dining locations. I think it's a three-hour tour, three-hour tour, <laughs> and I would love to do that. I think with my, my pass holder discount, it's $85 for about three hours, and there's some behind the scenes, some in front of the scenes, so I could take you guys along with me and vlog some of it and tell you about what I saw that I couldn't take you on with the camera and it's something I'd really enjoy doing seeing things because I haven't dined at a ton of places in Magic Kingdom and I think it would be a really good roundabout way to experience a little piece of different things and report back to you guys and give you my opinion on you know whether it was worth it or not so that's on my list of things to look into and um, as far as dining there, there's so many on my list so I'll keep you guys updated on Instagram and um, 
we'll see where we end up. I, I've been at Cape May three times in the last three months, and it is fantastic. If you like seafood, go there and eat your weight in crab legs. I will have a vlog out on that very soon of my go through. I think I, I only vlogged it once. The rest of the time, I was very, very, very concentrated on eating crab legs. So I, I couldn't turn the camera on because I had butter everywhere. <laughs> But um, yeah, so I have a couple cool vlogs coming up. There'll be Animal Kingdom Lodge. I vlogged all of um, Kadani Village, Jumbo House. I got a two room villa and a Savannah View standard view room. All of that. I'm not sure how I'm going to put it together yet, but you can look forward to seeing my full vlog on all of that. I am so excited about giving that to you guys. And um, Kate. May Cafe will be the next one after that, which, yeah, it's the real deal. <laughs> uh, I live near Cape, the real Cape May in New Jersey, Magic of the Mouse TV. The real Cape May, do they have real good seafood there? They have to, right? Otherwise, why would it be called Cape May Cafe? Um, let's see. Can I, Charlie? Jeff and I, Dole Whip Dad, have a um, Creator Talk live stream on Sunday nights at 10.30 p.m. on his channel. So if you're a creator in the chat, make sure you check us out over there. We talk all things creator, some things Disney, and we just have a great time. So you can make your own free s'mores. I mentioned the campfire, which the campfire, it's not free. You have to buy your own s'mores fixings, but you can use the campfire and either buy the s'mores things there or bring your own and roast marshmallows at the campfire at all of the Walt Disney World resorts. Yes, we will have, <laughs> Jeff is right, we will have a special um, visitor from TubeBuddy joining us so we can pick his brain about all things TubeBuddy, which I use. I have the pro version right now, which I realize I need to upgrade because I can't do a lot of things that I'd like to do. Oh, that's really cool. It was free when you were there. We didn't actually roast the marshmallows, so I don't know if it's free all the time, but usually you have to bring your own supplies or buy them. Um, I'll definitely check into that. I'll have to <laughs> give them a call. Michael Riley, have fun on Fortnite. I appreciate you being here. And let's see. Um, we followed all the things. The last thing I want to talk about is just if anybody had any questions about Disney planning, um, to pick my brain, I'm here for you. If you can't think of anything, um, oh, you mean you're moving to Florida. Congratulations. Florida or Fortnite, both things are fun, right? <laughs> Depends on what you're into. Um, hey, Zip, Patrick, how are you doing tonight? Thank you for coming in. Dance Electric, yes. At all the resorts, they have a campfire every night, all of them value, moderate, and deluxe. And you can either bring your own s'mores things or all of the gift shops. I guess I should, I don't say that in all of my vlogs of the resort tours, but it is a thing. I need to do another like full on all the resorts, the things they have to offer that you can get at all of them. This is another idea, <laughs> but um, you can roast marshmallows and over the campfire and and it's really cool they do that every night at all the resorts so it's a fun little we never end up doing it just because there's a billion things that you can be doing at that time so we're usually not there around seven o'clock at night is around when it happens so we're usually at a park or eating dinner or doing those things but if you're having a resort day it's a great ending addition to that resort day for sure um I am a Ford degree doll up dad. Okay. Um, yeah, if you guys had any questions about planning any Disney trips, please reach out to me or throw it in the chat. And I, I'd be happy to give you my opinion. I'm not 1000% the expert, but I definitely have been there at least 12 times in the last year and go all the time. And I'm constantly doing research on what's next. So I try to stay on the up and up about everything that's happening and um, I get the best information for you guys. If I don't know, and you ask me a question, I definitely go out of my way to find out. Cause if I don't know, I want to find out for you and also know for myself. So it's, I love it. It's, it's a lot of fun. I need to just take the jump and become a Disney vacation planner because it's, it's probably my calling. Uh, Dean's electric says, which restaurant would you highly recommend right now? 
if you had to pick one. Um, table service for me, seafood, crab, and all that. I, I don't eat meat. That's my disclaimer. I don't eat meat. I eat seafood now. I'm pescatarian. So vegetables and seafood. But Cape May Cafe is absolutely amazing. Um, I have another vlog coming out shortly on um, Maria and Enzo's in Disney Springs. Um, Raglan Road. We had great meals at both of those places. And so probably my top after Cape May would be Yak and Yeti or Tusker House at Animal Kingdom. Those were just fantastic. And that just depends on if you want more of an Asian flair at Yak and Yeti, or if you want a character buffet dining experience with like African culture food, that's what you'll find at um, Tusker House, which I do have a vlog out on Tusker House that you can check out. And, and I really loved it. You can double up. This is like a hack double dip on breakfast and lunch. If you book your breakfast reservation for around 1030, then eat a little bit of breakfast and then they switch over to lunch at 11. And then you can try some of the things from lunch as well, which is what I did. So I showed breakfast and lunch, which is a cool little Disney hack. Um, California Grill. I have eaten there twice. I enjoyed my vegetarian dishes very, very much. I had a birthday dinner there last year with my oldest son and, and his meal was okay. I, I didn't have the best experience with the waiter. So I don't, I haven't put a vlog out on it yet because I don't feel super comfortable giving out that information on an experience where everyone else has a great one. And I had a not so great one two times. So we're going to try to get a California Grill brunch reservation for our next visit. That's that's on my goals list. But um, give it a third try and see. My, my husband had a bad experience with his steak. It took like 45 minutes to, to get his steak cooked. So, And it was overcooked. That was my experience. Not the norm, but we want to give it another go before I put out a vlog on, you know, giving them – credit where credit is due and everyone else seems to love it. And I don't want to be like that guy that's like, no, it sucks. We had like a half good, half bad experience both times. So I just, I, I didn't vlog it. Plus it's kind of extra fancy or ex, that's a word, a phrase now, extra fancier. So I didn't have my camera out the whole time. I didn't feel comfortable really vlogging in front of other people that are spending all the money to have their experience. So I, I'm working on my dining vlog set up so that I don't disrupt or make other people feel uncomfortable around me. So I'm working on that craft and we'll see as my, my dining vlogs come out in the near future, how you enjoy that. Leave a comment down below on those, please. And let me know if you enjoy it and, and see how it goes. I, I want to give you my opinion, but not disturb other people's experiences. That's, that's really like, you know, hey, Rob Fuzz, welcome to the stream. Thanks. Thank you for being here. Um, <laughs> honest reviews will help you from wasting money. Yes, I do like to keep my reviews honest and I do that. But when I reviewed them, the vlog was kind of trashed because I didn't vlog it for my birthday last year and they brought the cake out. My server brought the cake out to my son and told him happy birthday. And it was my birthday. I had a birthday pin and he was informed and he just, he just didn't care. So it wasn't so much the food experience. He liked his salmon. It was really good. I liked all my vegetarian dishes. They were really good, but I forgot to vlog. Honestly, I was brand new at it. I hadn't even started my channel yet. I was starting to vlog. And then when I went back with my husband, um, I vlogged a little bit and then when it took an hour to get his food out almost and he didn't eat it, it was just me vlogging my food again. So it didn't really seem like a valid review. So we're going to try it again. Definitely in the next couple of months, we're going to go back and give it a full honest try and it will all be in there. And, and you can always expect honest reviews from me if I really didn't like something. I'll say I really didn't like it but maybe you will. It's my taste, not yours. And this is what I thought about it. This is why I didn't like it. This is why I liked it. So that's the format I like to keep because 
not everyone likes everything everyone else does. So, and that's why it's great to watch other people's perspectives on it as well. And that's why I like bringing along my husband and my kids because they love steak. They like meat. I don't eat meat. So I give my version of my review and there's on the steak and they're pretty tough critics. So they, they will 1000% <laughs> give you their honest review on what they thought of it. Um, no, but I, I definitely agree on the honest reviews. It's, I don't want just a yes man. And I try to give that to you guys too. I don't want someone just saying, oh, Disney's great. Everything's great. The food was great. And this was really good. And um, I do say that sometimes if it's good. <laughs> and if it's not, you'll hear that too. So I've had drinks where I'm like, I, I won't get this again. Yes, I like this. There was a lot of things at Festival of the Arts that um, I won't get again. And I said that, I think I said, I have to go through my footage. I don't check my footage until I go to edit the video, but I think I put it in there. And um, like the seared Corvina with ratatouille roasted vegetables. I'd never had Corvina. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. It's a, it's a fish. It was at, um, it was in the Germany Pavilion. And I didn't really like it. Had some weird things through it. It tasted a little bit fishy. And um, I, I won't get it again. And, you know, that's, I got a, the vegan or vegetarian bratwurst they had in um, the little booth that's, I'm giving you little tidbits into my Festival of the Arts video already, but just to give you an example of it, it was a vegan bratwurst with some slaw and um, some other vegan thing on top of it. And it, was, it wasn't very good. Like I, I won't get in again. I, I don't recommend anyone getting it. It was kind of bland and it was $10 <laughs> and it took up valuable real estate in my belly. <laughs> so I couldn't eat other things because I ate that. So, you know, I, I, I want to be here to help you whatever way I can to help you guys have your best experience because that's what made me want to start my YouTube channel in the first place was um, researching figuring out what everybody else had to say about their experiences and then taking them all, putting them together and figuring out what was best for me and my family's experience. So I, I appreciate that a thousand percent and, and I'm here for you guys, whatever I can do, please, please reach out to me. I'd love to help you. And, um, and yeah, and some people can have a fantastic experience experience and then other people can have a not so great one. And, you know, there, there's that too, where 90% of people love it. And then there's the 10% that say, no, it was horrible. So there's a lot of factors that go into that. And that's, you know, service and time of day or, you know, we hope for the best, but it, it can't always be rainbows and butterflies. Yeah. More sunshine, please, Jim. I, you stopped eating meat back in May. I always look forward to the meatless options in WW. They have, uh, <laughs> Jeff. Jeff, thank you so much. You're so sweet. That's my very first ever super chat. And, and I really appreciate that. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being my partner and, and all the exciting things that, that we have going on. I'm so excited about 2020 and I can't wait to see where all this goes. So on to 100K, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, we're uh, we're gonna try out different things, take you guys along, and um, you'll always get honesty from me. It's it's not it's definitely edited because I screw up my words a lot, but it's not edited for purposes of sheltering you guys. I, I want you to know what experience I had and to help you plan for your best experience as well. Um, Jeff, sending you prayers, whatever it is that you need, I, I'm praying for you. <laughs> Jeff, I'm proud of you. You figured it out. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. That's awesome. And um, I, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me tonight. I just wanted to catch up with you and um, share what's going on. I don't know if this is going to be a regular 
um, every Thursday thing, but definitely Thursdays after character warehouse vlog. So like every two weeks, I'd love to do it, but we'll see um, how next week goes. If I feel like catching up with you about running chat or I have some awesome dining reservations I can't wait to share with you guys, then maybe we can do that again. Or if you guys give me feedback and there's something you want me to talk about in particular, how I do and share that with you on this, I'd love for that to be um, a way to share communication with you guys and just catching up and, and, and talking for a little while on Thursday nights. Wait, feel the first ever super chat show or some love people. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate that. Dole up dad. You're awesome. Um, I'm sorry to hear that Jeff friend does sending prayers to your friend and their family. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Sean. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Um, are you vlogging the run? Addie Family asks. Yes, I am vlogging the run. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do that. I mean, I have a really awesome GoPro Hero 7 block. I could strap it to my forehead, and that could be an option, but I'm not sure I want to go that nerd mode for the my first run. So... I'm going to chat with Sean and figure out what the best avenue to go would be. And I don't know. Either way, I'm going to have a vlog on my first Run Disney 5K and and we'll see how it goes. But you'll definitely be there along with me the whole way. <laughs> I'm, I don't know if I'm going to vlog my training. That might be a little bit ugly. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, Magic of the Mouse TV. Thank you so much, you guys. I don't know if you can see the color coming through. I'm blushing. <laughs> thank you so much. Awesome listening to you chatting, Disney. Thank you, Magic of the Mouse TV. And thank you so much for being a sponsor of Vine and Jeff's show on Sunday nights and DisTube. I, I love that. And that's where Jeff made me first fall in love with um, live streaming. So here we are today, seven months later. <laughs> But thank you so much for the super chats, guys. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate you guys being here and hanging out with me to talk Disney and the flap. Thank you so much. Aw, thank you for being here. Go chest strap. If Sean is there, have him recording from the spectator view. Yeah, I don't know where Sean will be, but I'm up for good night, Sean. <laughs> um, I don't know where Sean will be. Honestly, I'm I don't know the whole run Disney thing. I don't really know how I'm, where I'm going, where I'm supposed to be. So it's going to be a full on noob experience for me. And I guess that's going to be my perspective on it for you in the vlog is sharing, trying to figure out where you're supposed to go. How do you figure out where to go? Being a first timer, doing this on your own, because that's exactly what I am. And I have a couple of resources. I have a lot of um, running Disney friends. Disney running friends, however you want to word that. Um, hi, Alina, PSV. Thank you for being here. LSU mom, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. LSU mom says, hey, everyone, just joining and hopping on for the super chat train, LOL. <laughs> woo woo. <laughs> thank you so much. You guys are so awesome. I really, really appreciate that. You guys have no idea how much it means to me. Um, but I'm really looking forward to sharing my run Disney experience as a first timer in the dark, figuring it out on my own. I'm not going to lie. I'm super nervous about it. And the thing I'm most excited for is all of the photo pass spots and my outfit that I'm making and doing my Disney bounding princess run. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. I'm pretty excited about it. And probably like 90% of you guys could guess who I'm bounding as, but we'll see how it turns out. I went to the craft store today, so <laughs> I don't know. I have lots of crafts that I have to do and not enough time, but um, let's see. Tell this project you needed to do an ad pick so people knew he wasn't a troll. I think he should ask Mr. Project to his name. Then his comments wouldn't get deleted on other streams. I agree, Stacy. We're still working on that. I don't know if he wants to make the full full on change to Mr. Project. It's uh <laughs> it sounds kind of weird, but when you're in uh streams with me, it makes a lot of sense. <sighs> Um, thank you so much guys for the love. I really appreciate you guys spending your Thursday night with me and just hanging out for a little bit and 
chatting it up and I look forward to doing this again. And if you guys have any questions for next week, maybe we can do that next week. If not, definitely in two weeks and stay tuned on all the things, crafts and resort tours and food reviews and all the things coming up. I'm, I'm really excited about it and excited for 2020 and all the things that I'm going to bring you guys along with me on my channel. So check out Practically Perfect Park Hopping, my partner channel on Saturday morning at 11 a.m. We'll be on their channel with Coffee and Contemplation. We're going to talk about um, Animal Kingdom Lodge a little bit and the different tiers of um, Disney resorts, uh, value, moderate, and deluxe, and the differences between them. So we'll share our information with you guys. So yeah, well, there'll be plenty more for you guys to check out in the near future. And thank you so much for the super chats, Jeff, LSU mom, Sean S, Magic of the Mouse TV. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And I appreciate all of you guys here hanging out with me. And I hope you guys have a great weekend and happy almost Friday. And we'll see you Saturday and Triple P's stream for some coffee and contemplation. You guys have a magical night and I'll see you real soon. Remember, every day is a countdown to Disney.